we're here in Florida Bay, and Florida Bay was one of the premier spots for uh, wading birds uh, throughout the last hundred years. And over the course of, of uh, the last four decades, Florida Bay has changed a great deal. Uh, my name is Jerry Lorenz. I'm the director of research for Audubon Florida uh, and have been doing uh, spoonbill research since 1989. Um, but more, we study spoonbills because they tell us what is going on here in Florida Bay much better than most other things. They're a canary in a coal mine kind of thing. But all the wading birds have been showing us that there's something wrong here in Florida Bay. The numbers have um, deteriorated from, you know, thousands, ten thousands, um, down to less than, you know, two thousand. And spoonbills have gone from a peak of uh, almost 1,500 nests in Florida Bay to some years we have 60. Um, and these birds, they require very specific um, habitats to forage in. And one of the things they need is, is fresh water to come into the bay. Um, that keeps the salinity low, which makes the bay much more productive. Um, and when it's more productive, of course, that means that there are more things for the wading birds to eat. And so with all the drainage of the Everglades, what we are seeing is this deterioration of these estuarine habitats, um, especially here in Florida Bay, being at the end of the Everglades. Um, and so the numbers just keep going down. And what really needs to happen is Everglades restoration. We need to have that flow instead of going to places, the fresh water flow, instead of going to places it's not supposed to go, to bring it back here to Florida Bay. Well, dry anymore. And then this year, it finally did again. Ooh. 